Good morning and hello from beautiful Vancouver Island. It's been a while since I've been on live. Um, you know, it's the summer, things get a little crazy. Um, but I really wanted to share or have a conversation with you about connection. Um, I feel like that's a big piece of what's going on right now in the world is uh, a lack of connection, primarily with self. So I kind of wanted to share with you a little bit about what happens when we disconnect with self, as well as what happens, um, sort of some of the predictable strategies that show up when we are fully disconnected. And the problem is, is when we're disconnected to self, generally speaking, we don't have any awareness that we are disconnected from self. So I'm gonna give you an antidote for disconnection as well um, as we get going here. So what I'd love for people to start looking at, especially when they look in the mirror, is connection to self, connection to your purpose and to your mission, to your gifts, to your ego, and um, almost secondary to self is to other people. So a community of like-minded people. So when we're disconnected from self, and I see this all the time with clients, um, there are several things that will show up reliably. Repeating patterns, whatever they might be, uh, could be with people, could be with self, could be physical patterns, could be mental patterns. Uh, repeating patterns is an indication of a disconnection with self. Um, zero awareness of ego would be a disconnection with self. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that because I feel like the ego is getting a bad rap right now. And um, the ego is actually a pretty interesting concept when we're fully aware of ego. Um, when we have constant negative internal dialogue, that's an absolute indication of a disconnect from self. Numbing. So whether you're numbing with uh, Netflix or or Amazon or shopping or alcohol or drugs or gambling or um, falling in love. Anything that you are numbing yourself with is another really strong indication of a disconnection from self. Unhealthy relationships, who you surround yourself with is another really powerful example of um, how disconnected or connected you are to self. And none of this is judgment. This is all a share for you to look at um, in order to sort of step in and step up to the greatest version of yourself, to your highest version of yourself. So I am seeing, especially in the work that I do, um, with women especially, is this, this addiction to busy, this addiction to to-do to lists. That is a super powerful example of a disconnection to self. So what happens when we disconnect from self? A lot of things happen. Um, it's going to show up as uh, a lack of self-worth. It's going to show up as a lack of self-confidence. It's going to show up as a lack of self-love. It's gonna show up um, with a lack of boundaries, healthy boundaries. And all of that gets in the way of your deep, powerful knowing, that inner knowing, your connection to source, whatever source might be for you. It's different for everyone. For some people, source is God. For some people, source is Mother Earth. Some people, it's universe. For some people, it's whatever it happens to be. It doesn't even matter. The disconnection from self um, creates a massive disconnection from your source. So... I want to just talk a bit about ego and actually I just did a whole podcast on ego versus awareness which you can um, download and listen to it's about 20 minutes long and it, I actually give you some of the just a handful of primary characteristics of ego but also their antidotes so that's under conversation soul conversations with Mia um, on Spotify so the thing with ego so your ego is your amigo or is your ego your amigo I feel like ego is like, it's just such an interesting concept in that when you're fully aware of what your ego looks like, how it shows up, how it acts, you have the opportunity to use it when you need it and to put it away when you don't. The problem is when we have absolutely no awareness of our ego or our ego characteristics and character traits, then the ego is always going to drive the bus and the ego's job is to make sure 
that you believe the bullshit story and that you continue to play small. The ego's job is to stay alive and to keep you safe in this little box that you've created for yourself because the world taught you from a very young age that whatever, you weren't good enough, you weren't tall enough, you weren't smart enough, you couldn't do that, whatever the, whatever the story is that was created for you through your uh, experiences in life to date, ego is there to protect you from hurt and pain and shame and blame. And the problem is it, in doing so, Ego has a way of showing up that's completely and utterly unauthentic to you. It's a dis complete disconnect to you. And interestingly, the primary characteristic of disconnect with ego is rejection. So the ego, the, the part of you that believes that you're constantly being rejected by people, by jobs, by situations, by houses, by locations, by whatever it happens to be, um, you can just imagine if you have this very powerful belief system around rejection, um, then you're going to show up in life a very predictable way. And interestingly, the antidote to rejection is connection. And that comes from a place of spirit or source or self-awareness, whatever you want to call it. And when you are fully aware of what your ego is doing, you have the opportunity to connect in with self. Now, our, I would say this is probably the primary foundation of the work that I'm doing is to get people first and foremost connected to self because everything changes when you actually reconnect to the, to, let's just, just say to the greatness of who you are, who you were before the world told you otherwise. So once you connect deeply with self, you, you have an opportunity to, to connect with your purpose, with your mission, with your gifts. It's amazing how many people have no idea what their greatest gift to the world is because the ego is so busy hiding it. So you have the opportunity to connect with your mission, with your gifts, and with other people who sort of vibe the same as you. When you're showing up inauthentically or disconnected from self, you attract those same people to you. So this whole concept of connection and disconnection, which is actually the foundation of everything that I'm going to be doing moving forward, whether it's in Soul Circle, whether it's with clients, regardless of what they're creating, whether it's in business or whether it's in health or whether whatever, <clears throat> until we understand and discover that um, that deep connection to self, or more importantly, when did we disconnect and why? And how can we find our way back to the wholeness of who we are? And in so doing, absolutely able to distinguish what your greatest gift to the world is, what your mission is, what your purpose is. Now, here's the interesting thing about purpose. We all have the same purpose. Everyone's running around the planet trying to figure out what their purpose is. Is it to feed the homeless? Is it to, uh, you know, eliminate um, child pornography? Is it to save the elephants? That's your mission. Everyone's purpose on this planet is exactly the same. And your purpose is to reconnect to yourself to step into the greatness of who you were meant to be when you arrived on this planet and then you learned otherwise. So stepping into that purpose every day, looking at what is it that I'm, what is it that is most important here today? What is it that I'm really truly meant to create moving forward? What is it that is most important? And those kinds of questions really open up doors for you to be able to sit and connect deeply with self. So I, um, I would love for, I would love to hear what you have to think about all of these concepts, um, primarily the disconnect and the ways that we disconnect. So these internal dialogues, this addiction to being busy, these unhealthy relationships, they are all created through the power of ego who, like I said, is their job is to ensure that you continue to believe the story, even if the story isn't true. Facts versus assumptions, right? So I would encourage, I would love for you to 
take some time to really look inward and start connecting to the pieces of you that you forgot about or that you've hidden or that you've suppressed those really amazing pieces of you that you were told somewhere along the line that, yeah, could you just be a little bit more quiet? Or, yeah, could you just dummy that down a little bit? Or could you just stay over there? Or you're going to be picked last or whatever it happens to be. To reconnect with the amazing greatness of who you are. And here's the thing when you start doing that. It spills over and you start <clears throat> to affect all the people around you. So it's not, as you all know, it's not our jobs to change anybody. It's our job to change ourselves. And as you do so, you elevate the people around you naturally. As your vibration um, increases, the you're going to have one of two things is going to happen. You're going to attract the same vibration to you, or you're going to repel people that don't vibrate at the same frequency. And that's perfectly okay. You're allowed to purge relationships in life. It's actually very therapeutic. Um, so that whole piece around your your soul family, the frequency that you're vibrating at when you start really connecting with yourself, that's the exact same people that you're going to connect uh, connect with and you're going to attract into your, into your world and into your life. So I just really, really, really want to, I'm just super passionate about expressing how, how important this piece of information is and how sad it is to watch and to witness people being fully, fully disconnected from self because sitting over here, I can see I can see everyone's potential when I'm sitting, not everyone, I mean, whoever's in front of me, I can see their potential. And it's so heartbreaking when they can't see it themselves because they're so disconnected. And when you're disconnected from yourself, everything that you choose to create for yourself moving forward, your desired reality is not available to you. Your current reality is created based on your connection to self, based on how authentically you are showing up as you, based on how um, healthy your self-worth is and how healthy your self-love is and how healthy your boundaries are and your confidence are. All of those things change your desired reality, change the future of what it is that you're creating for yourself. And it all begins with connecting with self. So I hope this helps you on Monday morning um, to maybe do some self-discovery. And if you meditate, you can meditate on um, connecting with self. I've got a bunch of stuff coming up uh, moving forward around self. I've got, I'm going to be doing a, a live on ego sometime this week. But like I said, I would encourage you to look, listen to the podcast. I'm also going to be doing a manifesting masterclass on Monday morning at 10. Now, this is a, a paid masterclass unless you're part of Soul Circle. It's part of Soul Circle. So you can you can find out all this information. Just go to my link tree in either bio. You can um, book a chat with me for an hour if you want to. If you want to start creating connection with self, we can do a connection call. You can join Soul Circle where I'm doing a whole bunch of teaching this summer, live teaching with people, not just myself, but from around the world. Um, but the Manifesting Masterclass is going to be about... Thank you for being here. Um, the manifesting masterclass is going to be actually about why is it that I'm everything that I'm manifesting. Uh, let's say the manifesting masterclass is going to be about why is why am I manifesting the opposite of what I want, and why is does manifesting really work because it never seems to for me. There is a really important reason why that's going on, and it has to do with your conscious and your subconscious mind not communicating. So if this interests you, then reach out. You can DM me. I can send you the details or I can send you the link and you can join me on Monday. Otherwise, please connect to self. You are absolutely perfect and beautiful. Believe it or not, you are. And if you can just find your way back to that belief, your whole entire reality will change. So thank you for listening and being here with me today and happy Monday. Reach out if you want more information and I'd love to share it with you. Take good care, everybody.